In this video, you'll learn how to easily filter and select objects between your schematic and PCB with cross-probing, filtering, and masking. Let's begin by exploring how cross-probing works. This is a handy feature that allows you to visually identify where a specific object in your PCB is located when referenced from a schematic or vice versa. First, we'll need to open our PCB and schematic documents. Next, we'll navigate to the Tools tab and then select Cross Probe. You'll notice that our regular mouse icon has now turned into a crosshair, indicating that we are now in cross probing mode. Before we cross probe our first component, let's cover the two cross probing modes. In continuous mode, you'll remain in your starting document after selecting an object to cross probe. In jump mode, cross probing an object will make the target document the active document. Let's explore cross probing in continuous mode first. To do this, all we have to do is left click on a component. As you can see, we've selected a component which is then selected in our PCB document while we remain in our schematic. To use the jump mode, you'll need to hold down the control key, then left click your desired object. With jump mode used, we've now shifted to our PCB document. You'll notice that our cross probe component is highlighted while the rest of our design is grayed out. If we'd like to make this contrast less dramatic, we can change the mask level. To do this, let's keep our cross probe component selected then navigate to the View tab. From here, we can see a mask level slider on the far right that we can adjust to our liking. Sliding it left or right will increase or decrease the brightness of the masked objects. To clear the filter and return to the normal viewing mode, press Shift-C or the clear button on the ribbon. Now that we understand how cross-probing and masking work, let's move on to filtering objects in Circuit Studio. The primary method to filter objects in your design is with the PCB panel. This panel will allow you to browse your current PCB design while using various filtering modes to determine which object types or design elements are listed, highlighted, or selected. To open the PCB panel, select PCB under the View tab. With the pull-down menu, we can easily select the specific kind of object we want to filter. In our example, we'll choose Components as our category, and then under Component Classes, we'll choose All Components. Within the filtering results, we can then select single or multiple objects to review or edit. 